That sounds great, Aaron. So the Noble Screamer, uh, from its name, you kind of tell where we're heading. You know there's a Tube Screamer involved in it somewhere, <laughs> but uh, there's also the Noble's ODR-1. And so I was playing off the fact that they're both green pedals and uh, so they get talked about a lot in videos together, right? But I thought what would be cool is if we could split those pedals up and show how each part of the pedal uh, has a distinctive characteristic, nice. you know? So we built both circuits in here and these switches allow you to access any part of those things. So you can have it so be cool. a straight up ODR pedal or you could have it be a tube screamer or you can have two hybrid sounds that you've never heard before. But we might have wanted. Yes, <laughs> right? Because they, they do great things. They, they just you know show off one part of the pedal like, oh, if I had some hard clipping, I see it gets me that kind yeah. of sound. If I move to a thing that has, you know, uh, two points in the tone control that go up, you know, you can get a great, you know, sound this way. Or if I listen to it at a two streamer, oh, that gives me all the focus I want. Oh, that's cool. Right. You know what I mean? That I would use that, you know? Yeah. And so you get these things. So we built both, both circuits in here, um, all analog. We had to design custom potentiometers to control both circuits at the same time. That makes sense. You know, because yeah. I mean? we're not doing any kind of fancy digital switching right. there. And you, you take this concept and we can, we can uh, it's like amp modeling, but for pedals. You can listen to the Nobles clipping section or the Tube Screamer soft clipping section and you can listen to the two different tone controls. And it's adding or taking away what was an issue with either circuit for yeah, some players. Exactly. Like for me with the Tube Screamer, I don't love all the point that it gives me, but right. I understand what's happening clipping wise. And with the ODR-1, mm -hmm. same kind of thing. Maybe a little too much low end. Sometimes that feels good. That's a cool thing about the pedal, but it would be nice to have a little bit of midpoint. Yes. You know? And some people could be using even two of them. Yeah. You know, because in, in this town, that's the sound that we want it more of. We add another <laughs> pedal, but with mids, there we go. I'm already thinking yeah. outside the box. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I love it because, yeah, you can stack two of them and it does sound great to, to do yeah. that type of thing. Oh, yeah. And this is just another way of kind of stacking drives, but uh, in a different way. So you, totally. you can, like when you move away from the uh, spectrum control, you can definitely hear the focus of the Tube Screamer. Love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really yeah. fun. The way that I'm running this, I have a switcher um, where everything gets its own loop. And so this is just your guitar going into our Halo Hydra into the amps. And then I'll switch in a loop, so this should be... That's our Noble Screamer on the TS mode. Yeah, I feel that compression happening. So here's what's happening already, <laughs> is the old one has all the things I don't like about it. It's a little spiky, it's a little kind of like artificial sounding. Let's go back. The top end's smoother. The top end is... Immediately. Screamer, we had to make some adjustments to get um, the ODR to be able to swing into the tone control of the Tube Screamer. So the changes we made so that that kind of thing could go smoothly uh, contribute to the fidelity mm -hmm. of, of the, the tone control in our Noble Screamer yeah. in, the, in the TS setting. So, And I'm going to go back and forth between the Noble Screamer OD setting and the ODR, yeah. and just tell us like your initial reaction. I won't tell you which one it is, okay. but here's A. That's the OG. This is the Noble Screamer. Oh no, really? The thing that you'll hear a lot of times with that pedal, and you know, particularly, particularly in like, like a rock country thing, is just big open chord. You're 
actually switching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Click it, and I, I didn't feel anything differently Isn't that great? at all. At all. That's great, man. That's a shocker. And plus, like I said, going from you hit me mid phrase, and there was no no tick or anything. That both sides sound really good. Both circuits sound really good. The the Nobles one, since I have more experience with that, I mean, I kind of I mean, my tube tube screamer was my first pedal anyway, but I haven't played one in so long. Yeah. Once I learned, oh, there's other pedals like it that don't have some of the negative things. But with the Nobles thing, the feel, hands down. Thanks can you this. can you do the whole like swapping of the voicings? Yeah, the, the hybrid yeah, modes. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. So this is the hybrid mode. Yeah. So this is the OD um, clipping, clipping yep. into mm -hmm. the TS tone. Yeah, that's cool. Here is just the amp. Here is the Noble Screamer hybrid mode. Yeah, it's funny because I hear both of them at the same time. <laughs> that's like great. Like both characteristics of the same of the yeah. same pedal. Wow. Isn't I mean, that of, of both pedals in one yeah, sound. The it's both like, circuits you hear. Yeah, and they're Because there's of, a lot of tone shaping that goes on in the drive control section. Honestly, yeah. there is. And so it's it's that's where a lot of that bass gets through, believe okay. it or not. All right. You know what I mean? I it's do not now. just yeah. all boosted in the um, in the tone in control, control section. Right. You know what that? do you hear, Corey? On I hear them kind of living like this. Like here's the ODR one and here's the the TS circuit. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Does the, did it take some of the bass away? Yeah, yeah. because yeah. check it out. So yeah. here's here's the do that one passage where this is the hybrid, and then I'll go to the Noble Screamer where it's both are in OD mode. Right. If you would have started with that, I'd been like, great, sounds awesome, and we did essentially. <laughs> So it's like a, it's like you took that, you recorded it, and then you EQ'd the the original Nobles kind of circuit. <laughs> yes, yeah. and that's, that's the wild. thing. Yeah. With, it's crazy. <laughs> with the Noble Screamer, you know, the concept that Maestro came up with was we want to put two familiar circuits in one pedal. Mm -hmm. So you have the ODR one, and then specifically the 808, and we give you those two sounds, and then we want to give you these hybrid modes. Yeah. And so what you're hearing for me is the beauty of that specific hybrid mode because it gets exactly. the hard and soft clipping mm -hmm. so it's still chewy but mm -hmm. it takes some of that low end out yeah and it's a sound yeah. that has not been as achievable before maybe if, it, if ever yeah. you gain the clarity when you kick that circuit in mm -hmm. which is nice and what is missing from that original sound as a guitar player bass always feels better you know whether it's under your feet or hitting you in the butt, mm -hmm. it's always good, but it's not always right. <laughs> so what that is doing is it's it's taking a scalpel a little bit more to that. Feel-wise, if you're really judicious and you don't feel about think about bass, it feels the same. You just lose bass. Mm -hmm. Usually what happens with that bass goes, so does the feel. At least in my experience. Yeah. So I'm feeling it, but I'm hearing it at mm -hmm. the same time. So that's cool. But it's there, it's but it's there if you want it or if you don't, yeah. from what I can tell. Yeah. 
you know, bass usually dictates a lot of the feel. Yeah, you know, yeah. you got to have that there to feel comfortable with it. Yeah. And so I was going to say, like in a band setting, when you got the bassist sitting there to, to do that, I think that that hybrid mode would be a, a definite winner. Right. Like one more time, like here's yeah. just the guitar into the amp.